Acute intermittent porphyry, an autosomal dominant condition. Although it is an autosomal dominant condition, 90% of the patients are asymptomatic. 10% only are symptomatic. Half of them have a single attack in their life. So the last half, 5% for the whole patients having the recurrent acute attacks. And they are females in childbearing period. The acute attack is severe abdominal pain, started in the epigastric area, and it is colicky in nature. And uh, the patient is having constipation, repeated vomiting. Then the pain moves, radiate to the back with severe back pain and stiffness and the pain in the thighs. After that, the patient develops loss of lower limb reflexes and maybe paralysis. Some of the patient is having some psychiatric problem like schizophrenia and bipolar disorders. The pathognomonic sign is the port wine urine, the photosensitive port wine urine. The patient is passing clear urine, but when exposed to the sunlight, it changed into dark red in color, port wine urine. The most important investigation is the urinary porphopilinogen. The urinary porphopilinogen will be high and sodium, uh, serum sodium will be low. 40% of the patient will have a hyponatremia. It has an impact in the treatment. And of course, genetic testing. And we spoke about the percent of symptomatic and asymptomatic patients. Then we will go for the treatment. The treatment is uh, admission, of course, because of the severe pain. It is about 10 over 10. And give analgesia, narcotic. Although the patient is having uh, constipation and the narcotic is causing constipation, so you must provide your patient with laxative. And for the uh, treatment of the acute attack, you will give dextrose, 5% dextrose and saline, not in water, because we spoke about the hyponatremia. 40% of the patient is having hyponatremia. So give them dextrose, 5% and saline. Uh, two liters over 24 hours and you will start the most important medication which is hematine 4-4 hematine 4 milligram per kilogram per day for four days and uh, tell the patient to have high carbohydrate diet